eyes, I put down my thoughts, and I listened to others' ideas, I got to know Earth's round shape. Then I could enter into the new world. Likewise, the hope and the wisdom and the truth can never stand up in our life unless our thoughts and the, our eyes are broken down. When our thoughts are broken down, there is a moment when we can shift into the new world that we never experienced before. So when we go to the Spain, there is a monument to the discovery of America by Columbus. Right? What is the point over there? Edge is broken, right? When it is broken, it stands. In our life also the same. Now you see one elephant tied up with the rope. But in fact, this elephant is tied up with his thoughts, thinking that I cannot come out from here. Right? Elephant is the capture when it is a small baby, try to come out from there. One, ten, hundred thousand times, he failed. What this baby elephant realized, I cannot come out from here. Many years passed by. And the size of the body of the elephant become huge like the house. But he never tried to come out from there. If he just make one step from over there, it can be easily free from there, but it never tried. Why? It is no more tied up with the rope. It is tied up with the thoughts. I cannot come out from there. So what we need to teach this elephant to come out from there, your thoughts are wrong. Few years ago, you couldn't, but now you are the largest animal in the world. Just no two or three more steps. Just try to make a one step from there. You are the huge lighthouse. When the thoughts are broken, there is the day when the elephant gets the freedom. Many of us also, as we achieve some success in our life, as we get the master degree and the doctor degree, as we get the higher position of other people, we also have the tendency like this elephant, trusting our thoughts and our experience on then we need to know there is the moment when we are imprisoned within the small domain of myself. That is broken, then we can come out from there and enter into the new world. So two most important things for us to do to overcome the current situation and even challenge in our future. First, change your eyes. Second, connection of hearts. Whenever we do some new project or as we face some challenge in our life, Always negative thoughts come into our mind. If you accept the negative thoughts, it is the same as to be bitten by the poisonous of the snake. Why you die once you are bitten by the snake? Poison paralyzes your circulation of the blood. So it cannot supply the oxygen into your brain. You die. Same like that. Once you accept the negative thoughts, it paralyzes your thinking capacity. You become full and you fail. Right? Ah, the end of the horizon is the end of the world. We cannot cross over. Right? Uh, I cannot come out from here. I tried thousands of times. That imprison you under your own thoughts. Right? So plug eyes, seeing despair, and only look with the eyes of the hope. There must be the way. If there is no way in me, there must be the way in my parents, in my friends, or someone else. Talk, discuss, conversate, and listen and learn. There must be the way. Second is the connection of hearts. Let's go for some practical story. 1991, Aomori province in Japan, they produced the 50 percentage of apple in the Japan. Strong typhoons struck the Japan. When the farmers slept and woke up in the morning, the 90 percentage of the apple fell down. Farmers, they cry and shout, we will never do this apple farm again. They plan to purchase the new clothes for the wife and pay the school fee for their children's university. When the apple fell, all their future plans also fell down together. There was one person who didn't look at the apple on the ground, but started to look at the 10% apple on the tree. There are always people who look at the 90% condition to be despair. And there are also people who look at the 10% to get the hope. When you get the hope, new ideas start to come into your mind. He started to write down the name on the apple. Past, success in the Japanese language. It was the final exam season for the students to go to university. He started to advertise. I give you the very special apple. When all other apples fell down by the typhoon a few days ago, this apple didn't fall. He passed the typhoon and survived. So if your children who will take the exam give this apple, when all, all other students fall by the exam, your children will not fall. They will pass the exam and go to university where they want to go. Of course, this is a superstitious. This is not true, right? But people, they believe what they want to believe in such important time. Nowadays, in my world, congratulations, now 
2000 be free data. Right? Your information, information pizza hut, give two free pizza to you, put your information. I never put my information, right? Mostly this is the fake news. But still there are people who share the news and put the information by it easily they will insert critical impact. Even though it was much more than the uh, common apples. We didn't fix all the apples fall out. So when other farmers lost everything by typhoon, so our body is limited by the time and the space due to the, co the curfew caused by COVID-19. But my heart is different. My heart can go to, my heart can return back to 10 years old or my school age and meet my school friends there also. My heart can go to the stars in the universe right now. Heart is not the bound by the time the space. So when the situation is the same, we can shoot heart here and the circumstances and feel hope, peace, joy, and gratitude and the happiness first. When your heart change, circumstances follow to be changed. Remember, the sun, before his body come up from the desert, his heart came up from the desert. And body and the circumstances important. Always should remember. Don't be controlled. And you are, and the, you can control your future roles. Let's see one more story. The lady named Miss Ejison, the beautiful lady, one of the most uh, best universities in the South Korea. She was studying in the night in the library. His her brother came to pick her up. On the way back, stopped at the one traffic point. There was one truck coming with the full speed. The driver was the drunkard, the drunken with the alcohol. He crashed that car with the full speed and it became the seven car piled up big accident. And that car started to be burned with the fire. She was under the fire for a few minutes. Everything was burned from the knee, the top of the head. She lost everything in her life. Uh, even it was telecast in the for TV. I will briefly show you due to the limit of the time, and I will continue. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Okay, so I think uh, video some has problems. So let's continue. So for 30, 36 days in the ICU, 18 people in the same room, they die. It means every, every two days, she saw one person die around her. And the seven months, she got the 11 times of the surgery. 13 years, she got the four times of the surgery. When you see that photo, her eyes are open, right? She couldn't sleep 24 hours because her nerves are all burnt out, couldn't close eyes and couldn't co control the saliva. Right? You please try to glimp your eyes. You can glimp, right? Because your nerves of the eyes are alive. When it is burnt, you cannot close your eyes also. She was scared to see her face on the mirror. One day her mother gave her a CD to listen to the music. Accidentally, she saw her face on the, that on the CD. She shouted, mommy. I cannot leave this space now. When the elevator is open, when the people saw her, they scream and shout, they fail and they run away. And the children, when they saw her, they cried, mommy, is that a human or a monster? You think about the feeling, people looking at you feel disgusted and scary looking at you. One day the nurse came and spoke to her, did you sign on the paper to cut the, all the fingers on your both hands? She said, I'm gonna suicide. With this face, without the fingers, how can I live in these words? This is her photo after the accident happened. Uh, look at her face, right? So scary, right? What is the most important for the lady? Face, right? Her face became like that. It means she lost everything in her life. Which company like to hire such a lady to work in that company? Customer will be scared, right? 
which man like to get married with such a faced lady? Her face become like that. She lost everything in her future loss. Even though she got the several times of the surgery, face couldn't be recovered. Her fingers were cut down like that. Only a few knuckles were remained. This beautiful lady with the bright future, everything was taken away by one person that drunk her on that night. Yeah. But she didn't commit suicide. She overcame such a critical time and the misery. And now she is living such a beautiful and a wonderful life, giving the hope to the so many people in the world. So let's see how she could overcome it. Her mother was always with her in the hospital. And she spoke, my daughter, I never see you through your face. You are still most beautiful, precious, and important to me. So whenever she gave the food into the mouth of the daughter, she pray at each spoon of the rice, God, please let this rice become the new skin and the new body for my daughter. So that daughter, the Jison, start to feel the love and unchanging heart of her mother. Ah, I'm still someone precious. I'm still, still someone beautiful and uh, important to my mother. She start to be connected with the love and the heart of the mother. Everyone, I told you, connection of the is something most important, right? If you are isolated, then you cannot get any hope. When your heart is connected with somebody through the connection of the heart, then new thoughts start to come into your heart. So one day, these thoughts came into her mind. Ah, mommy, I'm so thankful. My fingers are cut only this much. If I cut my hands, wrists, and arms, I'm really hopeless. I cannot do anything. Mommy, so thankful, right? With this finger, somehow I can write something. Uh, I'm so thankful my fingers are only cut this much. What about before? With this face, without finger, I don't want to leave. I want to commit suicide. Ah, uh, so thankful fingers are cut only this much. Next day, mom, so thankful I can hold a spoon. Next day, ah, oh, mommy, so thankful I can breathe today. Next day, mom, so thankful I can open the door with my finger. Next day, mom, so thankful I can wash my feet. I told you, to the top of head, everything was burned with the fire, right? Where you are damaged with the fire, you cannot wash. As she washed the feet, mom, so thankful, right? Somehow I can wash my feet. She and her mother said, let's find out one thing to be thankful every day. As I told you, circumstances and the face she couldn't change. But what she started to change was, she started to change her heart. Shifting from the despair, circumstances, doubt and fear and the anger into the gratitude, hope, peace, joy, and thankful. Right? If she can be thankful in such a critical time, how many things are there that we can be thankful that in our life today? Am I right? So now we will have the time to practice changing our hearts. You forget about the COVID-19, forget about the difficulties in your life, in your company and the family now. Forget about everything. Now we will shift our heart into the gratitude and thankfulness. Are you ready? I will give you two minutes now. So now you write down five things that you can be thankful today in your life. Five things you can be thankful today in your life. Two minutes, your smartphone or note and pen. Okay. After this, I will give one or two people to give the presentation. Ready? Go. Five things that you can be thankful today in your life. One minute left.
30 seconds left. Okay, time is up. Uh, who wants to share about five things to be thankful in your life today? Please raise your hand. Raise your hand if you want to share. Okay, uh, FC uh, Balikai. Yeah. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, this session uh, by Mr. Char Ang Ang is very nice and uh, he explained how to have hope and uh, we should have courage in our life as he explained in one uh, uh, story of a case of a strong heart lady lee gs a son of south korea uh, is really a very uh, good example to explain our children uh, as we are in the midst of uh, uh, covid 19 uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, uh, sir. Okay. Thank you so much uh, for your heartfelt presentation. And one, or, one more person who wants to share five things that you can be thankful today in your life. Raise your hand. Okay. India Rajesh. You can unmute your mic and you can speak. Now you can speak. Introduce yourself first and you can take your time. Uh, we cannot hear you. Yeah. I think, yeah. Good, good evening, Pastor. Uh, my name is... <laughs> good evening, sir. My name is Nibirita Pradhan. Uh, I'm thankful because in my life there is one leader who's leading me. Uh, COVID-19, I'm thankful because COVID-19, it is not difficult for me for now because I'm staying in a best place. Uh, I'm thankful because uh, till now I am alive. I'm thankful because uh, today I am listening my my education. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, due to the limit of the time, I cannot give the opportunity to everyone here. Please tonight with your family members take 15-20 minutes. What you be thankful together uh, in your family members. Okay, let me continue. Now let's see the power of the changing the heart from the despair to the gratitude. She started to complete the master's degree in the social welfare at the Columbia University in 2005. 2008, complete the master's degree in the rehab counseling at the Boston University. 2016, complete the doctorate degree social welfare at the UCLA. As you know, these are the top universities all around the world. The photo is the day of the graduation of the doctor degree in the UCLA. She wrote the two books, I Love You, Jason. I am happy today too. Amazing, right? So with the ugly finger, she wrote such a beautiful book, I Love You, Jason. And 300,000 copies were sold out. If you write uh, one book, not easy to sell out 3,000 books also. So, so many people who are about to commit suicide or get divorced, they could change their minds as they read this book. This is a one letter from the lady who was about to commit suicide. I was abandoned by my lover a few days ago and I decided to die. I went to pharmacies to take sleeping pills and commit suicide. But one day I accidentally read your book. I was so ashamed. I have a pretty and healthy face. Why did I try to die? But at first, I thought it was right to die because of these trials. But when I read your book, I was wrong. So I abandoned my thought to die. You saved my life. A letter from a certain lady. Everyone, why people commit suicide or the become murderer, become the criminal, killing the other people, or get divorced? Because they think that I am right to make these decisions, right? 
because I was forsaken by the boyfriend. I'm most miserable, so I'm going to suicide. Korea also, India also, Sri Lanka also, there are still people, many people who commit suicide thinking that their decision and their thoughts are right. Because you hurt me, I'm gonna kill you. Because of person I right? I said, oh, I am wrong. I'm not most miserable. Comparing to the difficulties, lady, my difficulties are not able to be called as a difficulties. In such a miserable moment, she could be thankful for so many things. Then how many things are there that I can be thankful today? When they realize they are wrong, they could come up from there. How many times you realize that you are wrong? The more you realize that you can be wrong, the more you will be free from yourself and enter into the better world. So Jisun, she realized that the purpose and the value of her life, this hateful face saved the life. If I had a pretty face, it would be only friends who are envious me and hate me. Because my face is so ugly, this ugly face saved many lives. So wherever she go now, many people come to see her, talk to her, and listen to her. Why? They get the hope, gratitude in their heart. One journalist came and asked, you were very pretty before. Okay, you are happy now, but don't you want to go back to your pretty face before, if you can? The Jisun, she said, no, I don't want to go back. Why? If I go back to my pretty face, I have to abandon all those people who gain the hope and life through my book. I cannot throw them away. I don't want to go back my pretty face. This ugly face saved many people's lives. This scary face also hurt me a lot at the first, but when the people who read my book wrote letters to me, it healed my wounds. I'm so happy thanks to them, everyone. There are people who say, because of the drunkard driver, face, the children, people, how they saw me scream and run away. I cannot forget them. I will kill him and I will commit suicide also. There are people, because of this ugly face, because of that person, I don't want to commit, I don't want to live anymore. But she said, thanks to them, thanks to that driver. Thanks to this scary face. Thanks to the many people. Now I live such a beautiful life that I never could experience before. COVID-19 also same. There will be the people who will say, I lost everything because of this COVID-19. There will be the people who will say, thanks to this COVID-19, there were so many things that I could learn, something that I never could realize before. What do you say? Yeah, she said this ugly face gave me the hope. How you can say so? Yeah, before this accident, I never understood the pain of the people in need. After I faced this incident, I could understand those people's pain. Now I want to become the minister of my welfare, not for my desire, for them to be happy, right? So this is my new dream. So I can say this ugly face gave me the hope and the dream. And beautiful lady, right? That's so beautiful lady. Now she's working as a professor at the Handong University, South Korea. She say, happiness is now here. The red of the tree, let's think about it shortly, connection of the hearts. It is the oldest and the tallest, strongest tree in the world. It grows up to 120 meter heights, the giant tree, the, story, the height of the 38 story building. It lives more than 3000 years. And the, when you stand before this tree, you look like the ant but the root size is only three to four meters. Why? That the California area is a rocky foundation in that USA. This root cannot go that much deep, more than three and four. So what this red would realize is, aha, I cannot stand alone. I cannot survive alone. I need others. They start to connect their roots together. Through their connection of the roots, one, ten, hundred, thousands of the red tree, they become one. When you are alone, you can be weak. But when you are connected with the many other people, you can overcome all kinds of the challenge in your life. Through the connection of the roots, at the dry season, they share the water and the nutrition. That's how they overcome the dry season. At the typhoon and the hurricane and tornado, they uphold each other through the connection of the roots. That's how they overcome the time again. Yes, that is the wisdom that the redwood tree, they realized. Now, let us think about when our heart can be start to be connected. 
when the red of the tree, red of the tree start to be connected together, when they realize that I cannot stand alone, when you realize about your shortcoming, when you realize that I cannot do it alone, that I turn into the we, right? When we start to work together with the one mind, one heart, and connection of the heart, we can overcome all. When son's heart starts to be connected with the father's heart, when son realizes that, ah, my thoughts are wrong. When he realizes that, he starts to be connected with the father's heart through the connection of the heart, wisdom, hope in the heart of the father flows into him. He got the strength to stand up again. Why Columbus could find out a new word when he realized that uh, my eyes are wrong. When you realize your shortcomings, you start to be connected with the others, with your family and friends, with your people in the company. And then when you realize your thoughts and the eyes can be wrong, there is a moment when you can enter into the new world that you never experienced before. Did you find the hope and the courage through the stories that I share with you? I hope that uh, you realize something important in your life. So change something that you cannot change. Circumstances and the situation, you put it aside. But start to change something that you can change. Your eyes and your heart. Fill up your heart with the happiness, joy, gratitude, and thankfulness and hope. Right? Like the dark, the light has the power to cast away the darkness. Under darkness, you cannot see, you cannot do anything. It's very, very scary and it's very cold. What do you do when you come back from the school and the company first? You try to find out the switch to turn on the light. Why? Light has the power to cast away the darkness. Same like that. Happiness, joy, peace, gratitude, thankfulness. This is the power of the light in your heart. When your heart is filled with the full of the happiness, joy, and the thankfulness and gratitude, that power starts to cast away all the darkness in your life. When your heart changes, circumstances and your future follow to be changed. Now, there is a secret of the change of overcoming the, all the challenges in our life. Thank you very much. I conclude uh, my lecture today. Now, how do you read this sentence, greenery sentence on the bottom? Happiness is nowhere or happiness is now here. Yes, happiness is now here. Never accept any negative thoughts. Make your heart full of the hope and the happiness and the thankfulness. Your future is bright. When we overcome this COVID-19 in our heart first, we can actually overcome the COVID-19 in very near future. Thank you very much. I conclude uh, my lecture here today.